हाय एवरीवन आई एम निखिल मित्तल आई एम दी ऑथर ऑफ निशांक इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट अ न्यू एडिशन टू निशांक अ स्क्रिप्ट कॉल्ड एड स्क्रीन सेव बैकडोर विच कुड बी यूज टू यूज विंडोज स्क्रीन सेवर एज ए बैकडोर टू रन पावरशल कमांड्स एंड स्क्रिप्ट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अ क्विक वॉक थ्रू ऑफ दी सोर्स कोड एड स्क्रीन सेव बेक बैकडोर इज ए फंक्शन विच एक्सेप्ट फोर पैरामीटर्स the payload payload url arguments and a screen saver path so first of all the script checks for if screen saver has been enabled on this on the target if it is not enabled then it is enabled by adding this registry key note that by default the script uses this screen saver so if it is not enabled the screen saver the screen saver is enabled and if it is enabled then its name is recorded also to enable screen saver the screen save timeout value of this registry key needs to be enabled in addition to the screen save dot exe so again if it is not enabled we enable it with a time out of 1 minute and if it is enabled we set the time out to 1 minute now we will come back to this portion in a second so we have enabled the screen saver now this portion checks for if the payload has been provided by the user or not let's come back to this in a second so ha having enabled the screen saver we use the debug debugger feature of windows where we can attach a debugger to any external process or file we use this path if it is already present we add our payload to this path and if it is not present we create it and add our payload now how is the payload created note that here we are adding the reg value as a payload and reg value is constructed using the payload if if the user doesn't provide it it is constructed using this powershell command so this is what would be executed a powershell one line one line downloader so the payload url goes here and arguments to the script being executed goes here and in addition to that we add the path to screen saver with the run flag to it so this thing is required so that so that after our payload is executed there is a 
screen saver on the screen which makes it appear more legit now coming back to this part this part here we are doing nothing but we get we list all the screen saver executables in windows path and check for and we list all those which are not enabled that is all but this one why so because if if we select the one which executes our payload or which is already enabled there would be an infinite loop wherein we call our payload and then we execute the screen saver which in turn again calls our payload so to avoid that we use all the available screen savers but the enabled one and from that list we select a single one to be used later on again if the payload is not provided by the user the default one is used and if it is provided by the user then that one is used now for this demonstration i have added the function call in the script itself so that it could be easily used with powershell remoting now let's run this on a remote machine note that i will be using credentials here but powershell remoting works fine with or uh, let's say passing the hashes of an built-in administrator of with sid 500 or you can always get credentials or a shell access for to a remote machine so let's use invoke command to use this on a remote machine that remote machine would be a machine in my local domain let's pass credentials to it So it is being executed on the target as you can see that the payload has been added as a debugger for ribbons.scr now on our target let's use monitor es which could be used to execute a screen saver immediately so so that we need not wait for a minute so pressing the key q should execute the screen saver or we can lock the mach machine so as you can see that while i was testing we had a metapreter so let's run a metapreter handler a reverse https so now let's lock the machine so that our screen saver gets executed and as you can see we have a metropolitan session on the target machine so this way we can use this simple hack to have a backdoor on a windows machine couple of things to be noted here is first we need administrative access and an elevated shell on the target machine also since 
image file execution options have been abused for, from a long time so there are chances that some antivirus may or may not flag setting up of the debugger in registry also note that if there was no powershell and we would have been using command prompt that is cmd.exe in place of powershell we would need physical access to the machine to do anything interesting using this simple hack but thanks to powershell we are able to execute commands scripts and shell code remotely you can always use scripts from nishang with this for more interesting attacks for example you, you can use the outward to drop infected or weaponized word file on the target you can use different backdoors or port scans or anything available with any of the offensive powershell tool out there so that is all for this video Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching it.